welcome or welcome back to my channel. As usual, it is so good to have you here with me for another video. So I feel like I should officially declare a once a month, every month, being my sweet spot for uploading videos here on the channel. I think that I have made promises to show up a little bit more, and I think in the beginning that was more sustainable for me, but these days I have been much more busy with creating shorter form content, so I just wanted to formally say to you guys that I think that you can definitely expect to see content here once a month, every month, probably not any more than that, but you never know, we'll just see how that goes. Of course, that's going to vary, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and let you guys know kind of what was going on. But with that being said, I want to hop right on into the topic of today's video. Today, I'm going to be talking about all of my current favorite beauty products. These are products that I have recently tried in the skincare and makeup department and a little bit of body care products as well that I have really been enjoying. These are products that I have not mentioned here on the channel before. Everything is brand new to me and maybe will be brand new to you. But anyway, these have really been giving me life lately and giving me beautiful, balm skin and brightness and that glow from within type of look this summer. I know we're moving into fall, but it doesn't really mean that I'm going to be changing up my skincare routine quite as much. So anyway, guys, with that being said, if you're interested in seeing some of my favorite beauty products at the moment, then keep watching this video. Okay, guys, so the way that I'm going to be doing this video is I'm just going to be talking about these products based on the order in which I use them in my day-to-day -day routine. The very first product that I want to mention is going to be a facial cleanser. This is by the brand Skin Fix. This is their 2% BHA cleanser. It's one of my favorite cleansers at the moment. I do have sort of like combination skin right now and as I get older my skin is sort of drying out but I do get a little acne from time to time so I like to start my day using this cleanser. It's really 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 gentle but does kind of give me a little bit of that exfoliation that I want. And since I don't have a whole lot of makeup or anything at the beginning of the day, I do like to use this product then, and I'll use a heavier duty cleanser later in the day when I'm washing my face off. Anyway, I'm really a big fan of this brand. They just seem to have a lot of integrity about them. They make vegan products and they are also tested by unbiased dermatologists. So it's nice to know that there aren't any sort of agendas with pushing this product. And yeah, I just like the brand integrity overall. So yeah, big fan of this Skin Fix Facial Cleanser. So my next skincare product that I wanna talk about is a makeup remover product. This is the First Aid Cleansing Oil Makeup Remover. I'm really sorry, you guys. As you can see, I just use this and I'm looking at it now and I realize that I have like a skin print of makeup on here so it is what it is i really really love this cleanser as you can see i'm just about almost out of it when i'm wearing makeup i do like to double cleanse and use a makeup removing oil or a makeup removing balm they're sort of the same products i do love first aid beauty because they sort of specialize in sensitive skin and I have super, super sensitive skin. Like, I don't know what it is, but I have realized over the years that I really cannot use products that have just a whole bunch of random ingredients in them or that are heavily scented. And just about everything I've tried from First Aid has not led me astray. In fact, I'm gonna be mentioning a couple of First Aid Beauty products in this video, so just be prepared for that. I also find that makeup remover oils work better for aging skin as opposed to makeup remover wipes. I've mentioned that before here on this channel because I feel like wipes are a little bit more abrasive on the skin and your makeup remover oil is going to be a little more gentle. Sorry guys, that is the sound of the subway. I do live in New York and it's still a little warm, so my windows are open. I just hope you guys are cool with hearing the train from time to time. If you're wondering, that's what you're hearing in the background. Welcome to New York City. So after cleansing, the next product that I like to go in with for a daytime skincare routine is yet again another First Aid Beauty product. This is their 10% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This is what that product is looking like. I have not always been a big vitamin C girl. I just always found that pretty much every vitamin C product that I've ever tried has broken my skin out like tremendously. It's just really, really terrible. 
So when I saw that First Aid dropped a vitamin C serum, I was really excited to try it and it did not disappoint. This is a really, really super light formula. It's just very, very fast absorbing. I use this in the daytime underneath my SPF or moisturizer and I just have seen an incredible incredible difference in my skin. My skin is just so much more clear and bright and smooth and I'm just really really happy that I tried this product. Shout out to First Aid Beauty. If you guys have sensitive skin and you're interested in trying a vitamin C product, I would definitely recommend this one. It will not disappoint you. No fragrance, no frills, it just gets the job done. Okay, so since we spoke about SPF, I'm gonna share the one that I've been loving lately with you guys. The SPF that I've been using is by Supergoop. This is the Every Single Face Watery Lotion. This is an SPF 50, but I'll be honest, you guys, I don't really think that there's much of a reason to go up in SPF, even for the face. I kind of feel like SPF beyond like even 15 or 30 is a little bit of a scam, but I really do like Super Goop products. So when they dropped this particular one, I was interested in trying it and it does get the job done. It's super fast absorbing and it does not give me a white cast. It's a little bit greasy, so I'm not like crazy about that, but it is not as greasy as most of the SPFs that I have tried. So this is tolerable. If you guys have any other SPF recommendations for brown girls, black girls, please drop them in the comments below. I know there's a lot of other products out there, but I'm just one of those girls that likes to use up products when I have them, and this one is just doing it for me. I also think the packaging is super cute, so yeah, I'm a fan of this SPF right now. If you're interested in trying a super good product, I recommend this one. So I just realized that I skipped another step in my skincare routine. So I'm gonna share that with you guys right now. After I cleanse and wash my face, before I go on with any sort of serums or moisturizers or anything like that, I do like to exfoliate again with a radiance pad. I've been loving these by First Aid. In fact, I am out of them. They're all gone. I have to repurchase them and I will be repurchasing them. Again, sometimes exfoliating toners and pads can break me out. I just, I don't know, there's always like something in there that stings a little bit. Sometimes my skin likes the sting, but other times it does not. So this particular product, there's actually no sting at all, but I do feel the exfoliating effects and I just find that it gives me a more smooth, clean surface to go in with my moisturizers with afterwards. So yeah, I just wanted to make mention of this product. As I said to you guys, I'm gonna be mentioning a lot of First Aid Beauty products because they do make really good products for sensitive skin and this is no exception. So after exfoliating, the next step in my routine is always going to be a facial serum. It's more so a part of my night routine because the vitamin C serum I use during the daytime, vitamin C is actually more effective when it's used during the day. But at night, I do like to go in with a serum, a facial serum, and the one that I've really been enjoying is this one by Fresh. This is the Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. It looks like this. As you can see, I like sort of put a little bit of a dent in this product already, but I just love Fresh products. I know that I've mentioned Fresh, the brand Fresh Beauty here on my channel many a times. There are a couple of Fresh items that I'm gonna be mentioning here in this video. I'm gonna just power through this, but I really, really, really like this product. It just gives me the dewiest skin. Yes, I know it's at night, but still I wake up in the morning with just the brightest, most fresh, most supple, beautiful, dewy skin, and I'm just a huge fan of this product. It's not heavily scented. It does have that tea in it. I think this kind of is coming up off of the black tea line by Fresh. I don't know if this is black tea, but anyway, it doesn't have any sort of a smell. It's great for sensitive skin, and I would definitely recommend it, particularly for people that have aging skin, so 25 plus. I'm 35, but don't mention that to anybody else. We're gonna just sit here and say I'm 30, <laughs> but it is what it is. I have fresh beauty to thank for it. I'm gonna be bundling this next two together, and the product that I'm gonna be talking about 
is a firming night cream. This one is by Fresh. This is the Black Tea Firming Corset Cream. I absolutely loved this product this summer. I actually have spoken about the sister product, which is the Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. And the corset cream, I would say, is just like a lighter version of the mask. It is a newer product, which is the reason why I'm bringing this up. And I liked this in the summertime because the overnight mask is a little bit more of a heavy product. That's more of my winter night cream, but the corset cream has a little bit more of a watery finish to it. So I liked it more in the summertime. And since it absorbs a little bit faster in the skin, it just was a little more comfortable in the skin during the summer. So I just wanted to make note of this black tea corset cream. Absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Fresh Beauty products. And these are just a few more that I'm loving. I just have one more night cream for you guys. This is a new one that I've tried and this is by the brand Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow AHA Nights Treatment. It looks like this. This is a new product that I have been playing in this summer and I really, really like it. If you guys can't tell, I'm a big fan of BHAs and AHAs. They really help to give you that supple, youthful look and it helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles, which are sort of my skin concerns at the moment. I also really like water-based moisturizers. And as you can see, this one is just so, so juicy and watery. It does not have a scent, so for any of my sensitive skin girlies, this one is safe for you to use. I have been playing more with Glow Recipe products. I have another eye cream that I've been using lately, but because I haven't really been using it for super long, I didn't want to quite mention that here in this video, but I have been loving this Watermelon Glow Night Treatment. I wake up with really bright skin. So if you're interested in trying anything by this brand in particular, I would definitely recommend this Watermelon Night Treatment. Just two more skincare products that I'm gonna be mentioning here. This product that I have here is by the brand Good Molecules. This is their Pure Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I have really been embracing oils on my face as I've been getting older. And I really, really like rose hip seed oil because it is very anti-inflammatory. So if you have issues like ingrown hair or eczema or just sensitivity in your skin, this is a safe, really awesome oil to use. And it's just going to give you the brightest, most beautiful skin. You can use it by itself without any other additional skincare products. I'm a layering girl, so I will finish my routine with this product, but you can wear it just fine by itself. Good Molecules did recently send me some product and I've been playing in some of them. I don't want to speak prematurely on any of the other products I've tried quite yet because it's too soon, but I know for sure that rosehip oil is always a safe way to go and I've really been enjoying this one. Awesome for sensitive skin, another great clean beauty brand that if you're interested in checking them out, I would definitely recommend this product in particular. The last skincare product that I'm gonna make mention of is an eye cream. I don't know if I've mentioned this here on my channel before, but I've still been using her and I've been loving this product. This is the Five Star Eye Cream. I think I'm saying it right. It actually like wiped off from this little container. It's by Sunday Riley. And y'all, <laughs> This bad boy just sits in my fridge and put this under my eyes first thing in the morning and instantly the puffiness is gone and I just have a more wide awake look about my skin. This also is an awesome eye cream underneath makeup. I noticed that when I use this product underneath my concealers, they crease a lot less. So I am a huge fan, well deserving of the five stars. I don't know what Miss Riley put in here, but I'm a fan and I will not be varying away from this product. I like it both in the daytime and at night. You really can't go wrong with this one. So moving on, I just have a couple of makeup items that I wanted to talk about. I'm not really a big makeup girl. I would say that I'm more of a skincare girl, but there are just a couple of makeup items that I tried this summer that I have been absolutely obsessed with. The first product that I tried this summer that I have absolutely been loving is this Summer Fridays Share Skin Tint 
This is a light coverage skin tint and I have this in the shade 7. I think that I could have actually gone a shade lighter because this is a little dark for me. It's actually the skin tint that I'm wearing right now on my face. What I like to do is I like to mix this with my winter foundation shade. So I'll do majority skin tint and the rest I'll do my foundation. And y'all, do you see this? Like, it just gives me the glowiest, most beautiful makeup base ever. I'm obsessed. Can't wait to use this more in the summer when I have a deeper skin tone. I know I'm kind of there right now, but when we're at the beach more, I just get a little bit more of a rich, deeper brown and I just live. So just a couple of details about this product that really stood out to me. This contains hyaluronic acid and squalene. If you're familiar with those two ingredients, they're just super hydrating. When you think about glow from within, I want you to think about those ingredients. Not only is this giving me a gorgeous glow, I noticed that it blurred my pores, it did not crease in my skin after setting. I am not really like a sheer foundation kind of girl, I've been trying to find that perfect light coverage product and honestly you guys, this is it. This is it. I guess technically this isn't a foundation, it's a skin tint. I have experimented with a couple this summer, but just, I have not had a lot of luck. So finding this product, like I am super stoked. I absolutely love it. And I actually might go back and repurchase that shade that's a little bit lighter so I can wear this during the winter because I'm obsessed. So the next makeup items that I've been loving so much lately are actually liquid blushes. I'm gonna be mentioning two here that I really, really like. This is a cheaper one from NYX. This is the Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint. This is in the shade Almost Famous. It looks like this. I think I mentioned this in like an Ulta Beauty haul I had last year, but when I first got this product, I don't think that I was applying it properly. Like I was doing my baking and powders and stuff first. And for obvious reasons, when you go in with a cream blush right afterwards, it just wasn't giving. It was looking really patchy and weird on my skin. So I finally got my makeup technique down a little bit more. I've also been embracing a more dewy look. So before I go in and set anything on my face, I go in with a little bit of cream blush. The next one, I'm sorry guys, the next one that I have here is by Tata Harper in the shade Naughty. This is more of like a rosy colored cream blush. I personally, I'm more of like a coral girl in general than I think I am like a rosy colored girl. But every once in a while I like to mix things up, especially in the winter time, I'll probably be using this particular shade a little bit more. But I don't know you guys, like lately I've just been super into cream blushes. Like just get in to my makeup today. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's giving and it's beautiful. I don't know, I just love it. And yeah, I've just been really been into cream blushes lately. This one's super affordable. I'm not really sure about the price point on this one. It was sent to me as a free sample, but if I can figure it out, I'll let you know somewhere on the screen. And yeah, just in general, everything is going to be linked below. So I just have one more makeup product and I don't even know if it would be considered makeup. I think it'd be considered more of a skincare treatment or I should say a lip treatment. It's slightly colored, but not enough color to warrant it as makeup. Anyway, the product that I'm talking about is this Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. This is in the color Rose. Like I said, it does have a little bit of a color to it, but when I apply it to my skin, it's kind of this like mauve sort of a color. When I apply it to my lips, I don't really see much of a color, but maybe for someone with like a different skin tone to me or like a different lip skin tone to me, it might show up more as a pop of color. But for me, I just really like how this sits on my lips and keeps them super smooth, flake-free, and moisturized all day. I usually wear this underneath my mattifying lip colors and I find that it makes them look less dry. I also like using this product like right before bed when I put on my face creams and all that stuff and I just wake up with like really supple hydrated lips. Sometimes I can still feel the product on my lips the next day. So yeah, I just really, really have been loving this fresh sugar 
lip treatment. Hey guys, we are now gonna be moving on to body care items. I just have a few items here and that's gonna be pretty much it. The first item that I have is a body wash. This is by the brand Rituals. This is the Ritual of Jing, your path to inner peace. Relax, calming, foaming shower gel. Looks like this. So I have been wanting to try out Rituals products for a really long time. I love the concept of this brand and I like that it's sort of centered around wellness and sort of like aromatherapy. So I was excited to try this product. I did receive this from the brand in a little bundle. And I'm going to be honest, when I first tried this product, I didn't like it. I just, for some reason, I think I just like really hyped up the brand. So when I finally tried this, I don't know, for some reason, I just didn't like it. But it sat in my shower for about a week and I thought I would revisit it again. And at that point, I ended up liking it. I had a shower and I felt really fresh and clean from this. I didn't really notice anything spectacular as far as the aromatherapy components of this product. I hate to say it, but I just thought it was really, really clean. It wasn't heavily scented. It actually reminds me of like shaving cream when it comes out of the container, like just the way that it is. I don't know. So you don't really need a lot of this product for it to work. It foams up really, really nicely and largely, I guess you can say, a little tiny bit of the product turns into a ton of foam. So yeah, this was like kind of like a sneaky sort of product, I guess you could say. Like it snuck up on me. I didn't really like it at first, but with more tries, I ended up really loving it. It's one of my go-to shower gels and I'm excited to try more products by Rituals. I hope that with more products that I try by this brand, I will get more of that aromatherapy effect, but we'll see. If not, that's okay. So speaking of body washes, the next body wash that I tried recently, like super, super recently that I really, really like is by Sol de Janeiro. Y'all know I love some Sol de Janeiro. This is their Boom Dia Bright Clarifying AHA and BHA body wash. If you guys could not tell already, your girl just loves some AHA. I just really find that combined with a good exfoliator and you follow with an AHA treatment, you're just gonna get that glowy, bright skin. A couple of months ago, I was dealing with some hormonal stuff, so I started to get like a lot of dark pigmented strawberry legs. So I kicked my exfoliating routine back into gear. And I do feel that AHA cleansers make a huge difference. This is scented. So I don't know if I would recommend this for my sensitive skin girlies, but if you don't have particularly sensitive skin on the body, I would recommend this. And it of course has that beautiful signature Sol de Janeiro scent. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I just feel so luxurious and fruity and sweet smelling after using this in the shower. So yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this body wash. The last couple of items here are going to be skin, body skin items. I have been really liking this particular combo. Yes, I said combo for my body. And it is, first of all, going to be the CBD Daily Hand and Body Lotion. This is in the Coconut Verbena scent. Absolutely love this product. It leaves me smelling so good. Like, y'all, if you like coconut, this is the ultimate coconut scented product. You need to try this. It smells so good. It gives me the most hydrated skin. And I do like to combine it with my Johnson's and Johnson's Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. I heard some other YouTubers speak about this product, and for me by itself, it is a little too greasy, but I just combined it with a little bit of the CBD Daily Coconut Verbena Lotion. Mostly the lotion than the oil, but when I combine these two, you guys, I get the glowiest, most beautiful skin, legs, shoulders, arms, elbows. The whole thing is smooth, no ash in sight, nothing but poppin' skin, and I just love this combo on the body. I am gonna say one more thing that I do combine with those products, 
and it is this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Yes, I use vitamin C serum on my body and I do combine them with the two products I just mentioned. I know that sounds crazy. I wouldn't say that that's normally a thing for me, but I tried this product on my face and it just was not agreeing with my skin on my face. It broke my skin out really, really badly. I'm sad to say, I usually really enjoy Ole Henriksen products, but this was not it. And because I am the type of girl that likes to use up products, I said, you know what? Let me put this on my body instead. I'm gonna use it up, I'm gonna put it on my body lotion, and I definitely noticed that this has helped to brighten my skin and even out my skin tone on my body. I don't know if I'm just being extra for no reason by combining the three, but it's just what I'm doing lately and I just really, really like it. Y'all, we are coming close to the end of this video. I just wanna recommend one more item to you. It's actually an empty. This is the Briogeo Be Well Vegan Omega and Biotine Supplement. This is a hair supplement that Briogeo sent to me. I would say about a month ago now, I just finished off my supply. I did talk a little bit about this product on my Instagram, and so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me over there. Yeah. I absolutely loved this product. I don't really subscribe too much to hair supplements, but I said, let me just give this another try, and I gotta say, it made the hair grow. <laughs> it made the hair grow, it made the skin glow and I just absolutely loved it. I mean, it did make the hair all over my body grow, which wasn't really great, but I'm excited to do another length check. I made a video of my length check recently. It's on my Instagram and I noticed a tremendous amount of growth in the last three months. And I do think that this product contributed to it. If you are vegan and you're looking for a good omega supplement and you're trying to grow your hair, or just want to brighten your skin, whatever, I definitely recommend this product. I will be repurchasing, and yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan. All right, guys, so that pretty much does it for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I wanna know down in the comments below if you've heard of or tried any of these products. I wanna know if they've worked out for you. Also guys, if you're not already, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that your notifications are turned on. I don't want you to miss any content when it goes live here on my channel, especially since I'm really only planning on posting once a month where supplies last. If I have more content, I will post more, but I want to just let you guys know that I think that that's the sweet spot for me. My socials are also down in the comments below. I wanna see more of you. Please come, let's be friends. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Until my next video, I hope you guys take good care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.